Hello team, welcome back. And today we will see how we can create the Jenkins plugin skeleton. So whenever you will start writing up the Jenkins plugin, you need to work with a specific file system. And we will see that what is that particular file system on which the Jenkins plugin will work and how we can create such kind of file system on the fly. So there are the certain steps which you need. The first thing you need the Jenkins development toolkit. And what are the tools you need in the Jenkins development toolkit? So as per our earlier lecture, we need the Java and we need the Maven, right? And after that, we need the Maven runtime template plugin. So let's go to the machine where you have installed your Jenkins, right? And let's see that the development toolkit is there or not. And if the development toolkit is missing, then we will do the installation. So team, I'm on the machine on the Jenkins server. And what do we need as a Jenkins? development toolkit we need a two tool first is the java and second is the maven so let's see which java version is installed on my machine so we will see java hyphen version and it will show you the installed version of the java if you are using the jenkins then java must be installed on your machine otherwise you will not be able to execute the jenkins so java 11 is installed on my machine you see open jdk version 11.0.20.1 is installed on this particular machine now what is the second tool do we need the second tool is the maven so for the maven we can check the maven installation using a command mvn hyphen version this is the simple command which you can use to verify the maven installation on your machine hit enter and you see it is saying mvn not found and we can install the maven using a command apt install maven if you are using some other operating system, then you need to use the native package manager to install the Maven. But we are not going in that way. We will install the Maven from the official tar or official source file. So how we can install the Maven? So what you can do, you can open install Maven, right? Hit enter. Now you need to open the Maven official site, which is Apache Maven, maven.apache.org. Click on the click on the first link. You see over here you are getting the installation process that we need to unzip the zip file or unzip the tar file and that's it. But these are not the complete instructions. So very first either click on this particular download button or the download button over here on the top of your screen. I will click on the download. And over here you see we are getting the Apache Maven 3.9.4 which is the latest version of the Maven. And we are getting the files that the tar file, zip file, and the source tar file and the source zip file. And we are also getting the instructions that this version is required at least Java 8. So make sure whenever you are installing the Maven, right, you need to check that which is the Java version installed on your machine. Java 11 is installed on my machine. So this version will work fine with my Java setup. So to make it easy, what I have done, I have written down all the instructions in a single file and committed that particular file with the source code. So if I will go to the Visual Studio code, once you will open the Jenkins upgrade v3, which is the repository, which I have shared in the section first of this particular course, you will get the folder called writing Jenkins plugin. I will also mention the repository link in the resource section of this particular lecture. And within this particular folder, you are getting a readme.md file called hello world demo. Over here you will see we have mentioned the steps to install the Maven. Very first we need to download the Maven from the Maven official site. So how we can download? Let's go to the official site. Copy this tar link. Copy link address. Go to your machine and type wget and paste your link. Hit enter. Apache Maven 3.9.4 bin tar.zz is basically saved if you will put ls you see the tar file is here next what we need to do as per the instructions we need to unzip the tar using a command tar hyphen xvzf and the file name so i will do this tar hyphen xvzf apache and the complete file name hit enter this will untar the file clear out the console put ls and you see you are getting the unpackaged bundle over here apache maven 3.9.4 now next what we need to do let's move this particular maven file to some specific location so i am moving all the content of this file to the opt right to the opt directory so what i will do i will type mv 
mv for the move apache this is my file and where i want to move it i want to move it to the opt hit enter this is done let's go to the opt go to ls and you see you are getting the apache maven 3.9.4 over here i will clear out the console let's execute the command mvn hyphen version again and you will see the command will fail again you see it is still saying that command mvn not found so what are the things we need next so do we missing any step yes we have not mentioned the path of this particular installed maven in the profile right so we need to define the path variable for this particular maven installation so that my system can identify that from where i need to execute the maven stuff so to add the things in the profile what you need to do you need to mention these steps you need to declare a variable called m2 underscore home and in that particular variable you need to define the location of your installation the maven installation then you need to define that particular m2 home in a path like this right and then export the path and where do i need to do all this stuff i need to do all this stuff in a dot profile file right in the ubuntu you have a dot profile file you need to do all this stuff over there so i will go to the apache maven directory right put ls and you see you have the binary over here let's execute pwd this is the path i will copy the path right once i will copy the path i will temporarily mention this path particular path over here now what we need to do next we need to set the maven path in the profile so let's do vi tilde backslash dot profile hit enter it will open the profile and you see this is the content which is present in the profile i will go to the insert mode and mention all the stuff which we have mentioned in the text document so what is the stuff stuff is this i will paste it here right and correct this particular path right i will enclose the single quote like this let's save this and once you save this let's check the maven version again and you will get the error again although we have done the installation we have defined the executable path in the profile why we are getting the error because we have not refreshed my terminal session so what you need to do you need to type source and define the tilde backslash dot profile it means refresh the terminal session with the current profile again i will hit enter this will refresh the ter current terminal session with the profile otherwise you can simply close this terminal and open a new terminal clear out the console and execute the mvn version again and this time you will get the installed maven version on your machine you see once i will execute the mvn version we are getting apache maven 3.9.4 is installed on this machine and the java version 11.0.20.1 is avail is available on this particular machine so we have installed the basic toolkits we have also learned that within the toolkit we have the predefined template we have the predefined jenkins plugin template how we can view that particular template right how we can create that particular template so we can create the template with the help of the maven so let's go to the text document again and over here you see we are getting a command maven hyphen u archetype generate dfilter io.jenkins.archetype once you will execute this particular maven command what this particular command will do this particular command will generate a project which will be compatible with the jenkins archetype if you don't understand that what is the archetype and how maven work then you can learn a few things about the maven but i'm directly going to execute this command i'm not going to go into the details that how maven work although i can explain these things right now but they are not relevant over here so i'm just directly copy this command and execute this command over here so once you will execute this command what this particular command will do so once you will execute this particular command very first this command will start downloading the stuff which is required to create the jenkins archetype stuff and once the download will done it will ask you that which kind of template you want to create right let's execute this so this will start downloading the xml files you will see it is downloading a couple of stuff right and this download will take some time right it all depends on the internet speed whatever the internet speed you have on your machine and which machine and what machine you are using you see the download is done 
Now I am getting a couple of options. Let me explain these options. So over here we are getting the first option. And what is this option? And what is this option? The option is first one is a remote. What this particular will do? This will this is a empty plugin. Jenkins archetype empty plugin. A skeleton of the Jenkins plugin with a palm and empty source tree. If you will choose the option one, this will create a empty plugin skeleton, right? Which will have the pom.xml file, which is the heart of the Maven, which will tell the Maven that what the Maven need to do, and it will have the empty source tree. If you will choose the two, right? You see, you, you are getting the two. Then if you will choose the two, what it will do? You see, it will generate the archetype which have the global configuration plugin, right? In the Maven, we have the multiple global configuration and if you want to update any global configuration, then this will generate a template which will be specific for the global configuration plugin. You see, we are getting the details over here. A skeleton of a Jenkins plugin with a POM and example piece of the global configuration, right? Then we are getting the third option. What is the third option? Third option is Jenkins global shared library. Use the Jenkins pipeline unit mock library to test use the global shared library and then we are getting the fourth option it will generate a hello world plugin a skeleton of the jenkins plugin with pom and example of build step this line is important example of the build step because in the coming lecture i will tell you what is the build step and what is the other steps in the jenkins plugin and then we are getting the last one which is a scripted pipeline a scripted pipeline means the jenkins declarative pipeline in the coming lecture, I will show you that what are the Jenkins declarative pipeline, although we have seen in the previous lecture as well, where we use the Jenkins file. So that Jenkins file is a declarative pipeline and this plugin use the Jenkins pipeline unit mock library to test the logic inside the pipeline script. So these are the few template and whenever you are executing this command, you need to choose any one template. Let's suppose I'm choosing the one. So I will type one over here and hit enter. So what this particular thing will do? So as per my selection, this will create a empty plugin, right? I have choose the one, so it will create a empty plugin. Now it is asking that which archetype version I want to choose. So what is the latest version? Latest version is 21. So I will simply type 21. If you want to go with any another version like 20, 19, 18, 70, you can go with that. But you may face some kind of compatibility with the latest installed Maven and the Java. So I'm going with the latest version, which is 21. This will process further. It is asking for the artifact ID. Over here, you need to provide your plugin name. So let's suppose I'm providing a plugin name like sample hyphen plugin, right? Hit enter. The snapshot version, I'm not providing any snapshot version. Go with the default one, hit enter. Then it is asking for the confirmation type capital Y and hit enter. This will start working on the things and it will create a empty plugin template for you. You see the build is successful. Right, the build is successful and where the project got created, the project got created in the opt maven 3.9.4 sample plugin. By mistake, I was in this particular directory while installing all these things, but this is not all necessary to be in this particular directory. You can execute this command from any source directory and plugin will be created. Clear out the console and hit ls to list out the file system. So you see, we are getting the sample plugin over here. Now let's go to the sample plugin. Uh oh, I missed the complete name. Hit enter. Put ls. You see, we are getting a lot of files over here. Jenkins file, license.md, readme.md, pom.xml, and the src. So what I will do, I will exit out from this plugin folder. I will clear out the console. And I will print the directory structure of this plugin. So I will execute a command tree, sample plugin. Hit enter. This will print the tree structure of this particular directory sample plugin. Let's see what is the tree structure. Okay, so this tool, the tree is not installed on my machine. So what I will do, I will simply execute this tool, apt install tree. So the installation of the tree is not required for this particular plugin. I'm just doing it because I want to show you that what is the structure of the plugin, right? That's the only reason I'm installing the tree. If you don't want to go with the structure of the plugin, if I don't want to show you the actual file system structure of the plugin, I don't need this tool. So this is just a complementary tool to ease my work, not necessary for the Jenkins plugin. Sample plugin. 
Now you see we are getting the directory structure of my plugin. So let me explain the things one by one. So very first we are getting the Jenkins file. This Jenkins file contain the Jenkins specific stuff. I will show you the content of this file. License.md this is a temporary file. Readme.md this will have the default instruction which is required to start with this plugin. Then we have the pom.xml. The pom.xml is something which is called the heart of the Maven. In this particular pom.xml you will get all the tools which is required to build this particular source bundle. Then we are getting the source. This is the directory within the source directory. We are getting the main Java IO Jenkins plugin. In this particular structure in the main, you need to write down your code. Whatever the code you want to do for your Jenkins plugin, you need to mention that particular code in this particular directory. And then we have the resource index.jelly. Index.jelly. Jelly is a software which is used to basically map the XML files, right? Over here in the resources, you need to mention the resources in the XML file which is required for your Jenkins plugin. Once we will create a sample plugin, I will show you the structure of the index.jelly and the other things. And then we have the test. So within the test, what you need to do, whatever the Java code you will mention within the main directory, you need to mention the unit test of that particular code within the test directory. So this is the typical structure of the Jenkins plugin file system, right? In the coming lecture, I will show you the pom.xml, the readme.xml, license.xml and the other stuff. So this is the skeleton of the Jenkins plugin. Now you can assume that this is not easy to work with the Jenkins plugin development, right? And you need the significant programming skills, specifically in the Java, if you want to write down the custom Jenkins plugin. So better you will find out the plugin which is already available on the Jenkins for your use case. Thank you team. See you next time.